In 2004, in Madison Square Park in New York City, a fast food restaurant opened its doors. It was based on the wild success of a hot dog cart from years prior. It would grow to be one of the fastest growing fast food chains in all of America's history. Today, I will eat everything from Shake Shack. Also, today's episode is brought to you by Keith's Chicken Sauce. That's right, I have a hot sauce. It's called Chicken Sauce. It's great on chicken. It's great on everything. You should buy my sauce. I love Shake Shack. It is delicious, greasy. Guys, cut it out. No queer baiting in my shows. But what's very exciting about today's Eat the Menu is this is the beginning of Eat the Menu on the road. We got Lou Burger in the back. They are learning how to shoot on these videos. And I thought, let's start with a regional favorite, Shake Shack. Wow, look at all this amazing stuff. We got burgers, we got chicken, we got fries, we got shakes. It is now time to eat. First up, let's start with some fries. But before we taste anything, why not just have a guess from the beginning? We're mixing things up, it's crazy. Please welcome to the Eat the Menu table stage, Becky Happersberger. Hello. I'll nope. get my own chair. Yeah, it's laying on the ground. So Shake Shack has three fries. They're really the same fries. It's plain fries, cheese fries, and cheese and bacon loaded fries. Becky, do you love fries? I love French fries. Let's try the Shake Shack fries. Shake Shack fries. Perfection. A good light fluffy mm -hmm. potato-ness. Mm, very good. They are better than the In-N-Out fries if you're any part of that debate. Because you have to order the In-N-Out fries like extra cooked for them to be even remotely good. The cheese fries. Cheese fries. Our cheese has gotten a little cold in the drive over so it's very Stir thick. It. It's almost like peanut butter. Stir it. The cheese okay. sauce is very good. Should we dump it on the whole thing? I don't think it will dump. Yeah, it's not, nothing's changing about it. <laughs> it's fairly viscous. Cheese and bacon fries. Cheese and bacon fries. The bacon smells incredible. It is good. Mm. They're giving Wendy's a run for their money right now. This is excellent. But who has the best bacon? We're about to find out. Wow. Hmm. There's a lot of flavor. Whoa. That's not for me. Whoa, that's good. Uh, that is that's for me. Smoky. But what yeah, about what about know. a little hot sauce? This hot sauce was designed for chicken, but we have found that it is quite delicious on everything. It's a little bit buffalo-y, a little bit ranchy. It's good with the fry. Mmm. Oh, it's great with the fry. Yeah. Mm, but of course I love it. I endorse it. It's mine. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, boys. <laughs> She's locked down. <laughs> <laughs> well, Becky, thanks for dropping by. Hey, thanks for the French fry. If you don't already, follow Becky on Instagram. Mm -hmm. She'll teach you how to do your makeup, take care of your skin. Okay, bye, Becky. Love <laughs> bye you. Do you want me to put the chair back down oh, yeah, the can way you I fold it down? Yeah, here we go. Thank striking, you so striking much. chair. There yeah. you go. That's how we do okay. things here. Now let's try some of their chicken offerings. Shake Shack only has two chicken things, but they are delicious in my memory. But let's start with my favorite, the chicken sandwich. If you saw, I have reviewed it actually fairly recently in the Chicken Wars with Chris Reinecker, who got hit by a car yesterday. He's doing okay. I mean, by the time this comes out, it'll have been months and he's gonna be totally fine. But for me, yesterday, Chris got hit by a car. Anyway, this chicken sandwich is in honor of Chris Reinecker, who just got hit by a car. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Look at that. My goodness. Mmm. Mmm. How crispy it is. You got these beautiful pickles. I mean, this sandwich is a mess, right? It's totally a mess, but it's so delicious. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. I gotta go in for another bite. It's just too good. I wanna get some of the lettuce and pickle on this big mountain. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's like a great little pickle hat. Mmm. Oh yeah, you know, when the saliva's stretching, the babies are fetching. I couldn't think of a rhyme. I should try this on here just because I'm trying to try every chicken I can with this to see if it holds up across the chickens. Wow, look at my shiny fingers. Enough of the sandwich, let's try these little chicken bites. Mm, they have a good feel. Oh yeah. 
You could accidentally eat like a hundred of these at a party. I know because I almost did. We had these for Becky's birthday party and we just had a counter full of them. I just kept standing there eating them. It's just such good chicken. Why can't every place make good chicken? That was amazing. But it's now time to roll on into Shake Shack's original beginnings. They're hot dogs. So Shake Shack has hot dogs. I always thought that the hot dogs were like a weird offering. It didn't make any sense to me until I looked information up about Shake Shack and saw that they began with hot dogs. So these should actually be the best things. Also, I love it when I don't know what's in the boxes because I get to like move them around. A little fork, hot dog, Monty. Let's find out which hot dog we're trying first. This is the... Oh, it's fate, what happened? It's the Chicago dog. Chicago dog. It has mustard, relish, celery salt, sport peppers, pickle, and tomatoes on a poppy seed bun. Anything I'm missing there? Onions, also has onions. It smells like a Chicago dog. I'm pretty impressed by the scent. And it's got sport peppers, which I often, and today again, will remove. They're just a little too vinegary spicy for me, but I like having them on the hot dog when I get it. So there's still the, the little bit of the oil off it is on the hot dog. So I still get the flavor and spice, but I don't get like the huge amount of spice. Oh yeah, yeah let's do this. Mmm. Okay. It's like a suburb dog. Are you from Chicago? Yeah, I'm from Chicago. What part? Oh, well, Naperville. Like, you're not from Chicago. This hot dog is kind of from Chicago. It's not really from Chicago, but it's like good enough. It's like, oh yeah, Naperville. Yeah, my parents live there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It leaves a little bit to be desired, but honestly, there's so few chances to get one of these out here that I might get that again someday, just for that little nostalgia. The next hot dog is plain. <laughs> really underwhelming. Should have started with this one, but it looks good. It's got a good hot dog, a nice even split, almost too perfect. Doesn't it look fake? Smells good. It's like a little mustache. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. I mean, who orders this anymore? Just put something on it. Mustard, ketchup, I don't care. I'm not like one of those Chicagoans like, you can put ketchup on it. You can put anything you want on it. It's your hot dog. It's literally mystery meat in a tube. You can do whatever you want. Let's go for the, whoa! What is it? Is it a Polish? Is it a brat? It's a chicken dog. I should have eaten this with the chicken stuff. Uh oh, I'm gonna get in real trouble. <laughs> Commenters, please, come on, don't. This chicken dog smells like hotel breakfast. Oh, it's stuck to the box. Oh, there it goes. There's just the bun. <laughs> I've made room for you, little buddy. It tastes exactly like hotel chicken sausage. <laughs> I've never paid for this flavor <laughs> in my life. This is a free flavor. <laughs> and since it is a chicken product, I better try it with my chicken sauce. If you wanna know more about my sauce, you can watch my little mini doc that I made about making hot sauce. Learn all the things about it. Small batches, locally sourced. It's a great product. <laughs> I hate to keep tooting my own horn, but it does make everything more delicious. And last but not least, the this one. I don't know what this is called, but it looks like just a plate with all the toppings. The relish has onions in it. Mm-hmm. It's a great relish. It's the right kind of sweetness. I'd say the Chicago dog is the best. This is the second best. Then I'll throw in that weird chicken dog. <laughs> Confuse the hell out of me. Then the plain hot dog. It just needs something. This hot dog is fine, but it's not so delicious on its own that it needs no topping. And rarely are hot dogs so delicious on their own that they don't need some kind of topping. This is our shake break number one because there are more shakes than this, but I cannot have that much dairy in at one time. But to help me take down these seven shackin' shakes, please welcome to the Eat the Menu table stage, Alex Lewis! Oh! <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna Put adjust my chair. chair. Yes. There you go. Very nice. Come on in. Wow. And what do we got today? Oh, well, let's not forget everyone's favorite segment. Alex made some cookies and brought them to the all you can eat eating the menu time. And today, I baked you your favorite walnut blondies. Those are not my favorite. You don't know. It well. smells really good. Mm-hmm. Could use a little more salt. Okay, okay. But it's pretty good. I think most people would enjoy this. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's 
positive. Come, Try Guys office. Now you can have them. Well, nobody's gonna, there's nobody here. Well, it has been such a fun Eat the Menu because Alex and Huey have been learning how to shoot and record sound. So if you notice any errors on this video, let Alex know on his oh Instagram God. at I, the number eight, the letter A, the word thumbtack, and also at Huey Stonefish. Any mistakes you see in this video are probably their fault, but it's okay, they're learning. We have seven shakes to try. People really don't want to spend that much time on these, so let's rush through them. And yes, we have paper straws. There's no amount of straw replacement in the world we can do that'll ever outweigh the amount of crazy like pollution from corporations, but we can pretend like we're making a difference and let's do it. Should we put two straws per milkshake and drink it like a couple? Sure. For in the 50s? So instead of using seven plastic straws, we're gonna use 14 <laughs> paper straws. Hey, you know what would go good with some of these milkshakes? <sighs> what? The a girlfriend? Blondie. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't <laughs> want. Let's start with this one over here. The vanilla, the vanilla shake. shake. Mm. No queer baiting in my shows. Mmm. Oh. Excellent. That's a classic vanilla wow, shake. Wow, that's good. A little, a, like a, a tinge too sweet, but I'm probably the only one who thinks that. I thought it was perfect. And mm. let me say, it's much more enjoyable if you're rubbing noses with a friend. <laughs> Hell yeah. Come Eskimo on. kisses Come on here. Eskimo drinks. Get over here. Mm. No queer baiting in my shows. <laughs> the chocolate, chocolate shake. shake. Mm. Mm. Ugh. Wow, that is like a fudgesicle. I hated that. It's very chocolatey. It's too much. Oh. Let's go with the blondie. Oh, mm -hmm. stink. Oh, stink. The strawberry, strawberry shake. shake. Oh. oh, that was awful. Oh, it's good. I don't like fruit flavored drinks though. Woo, I love it. Ooh, all right. <laughs> well, he had to slick his hair back. It curled his hair. This one's either the coffee or the salted caramel. Let's guess coffee. Mm. Oh. I don't think that was coffee. Maybe that's the half and half. The, the black, black and white. white. Give, Give it a try. That improves the chocolate shake vastly. That totally takes the edge right out of it. The, the salted, salted caramel, caramel milkshake. milkshake. Give, Give it a try. try. What's what you're saying? Give, Give it a try. Give, Give it a try. There we go. Mm. Oh, no. It's coffee. That's okay. awful. It's, it's not bad, it's just I was expecting no. caramel, and it was coffee, and it was very confusing. It's I like smelling it. pizza and eating a cookie. Ooh. This coffee shake doesn't taste like coffee. It tastes like coffee breath. They should call it a coffee breath milkshake. Mm. Salted, Salted caramel, caramel milkshake. milkshake. Give, Give it a, a try. try. Mm. Oh yeah, that's salted caramel. That is. Butterscotch caramel. That's good for one sip, but I can't have any more of that. No. I bet actually though. No. No. Oh. It's not good. I but I enjoyed that sip more than each of them on their own. Alright, we got one left. This is my favorite. Cookies, cookies and, and cream, cream milkshake. milkshake. <laughs> Give it a try. Mmm. Oh wow, it's chunks of cookie. It's a classic. Yeah. That Boy. one's, no, that's great. Well, Alex, thanks for dropping by. Which one of these did you like the most? Which are you taking with you? The vanilla shake. All right. I mean, I loved the Oreo too, but I think the vanilla shake is the one I, that would be my go-to of all of these. I'm gonna take this one with me. Okay, get out of here, Alex. I can't actually drink yeah, the rest of Yeah, you can't leave, can you? Well, that too, but I can't actually drink the rest of that. It'll give me diarrhea. Let's cut. Oh no! <laughs> Keith, vegetarian items, stick one. So Shake Shack has some vegetarian items, not vegan items. Do not get it wrong because these are very cheesy. Uh, especially the first one we will start with, which is the grilled cheese. It's good. I do want to try this with the hot sauce. Jonathan, can you get to my hot sauce? <laughs> crossing, crossing. Receiving. Crossing. crossing, crossing. There's actually no tomatoes in my hot sauce, but it's kind of tomato soupy in the sense that it's red. So let's try, I think it'll be good on the grilled cheese. That's the thing you put hot sauce on, right? Another winner. The veggie burger. Give it a try. This is their veggie patty. Is it beets in there? What's in this veggie patty? I'm so excited. Oh my God. 
It's red as the devil's dick. Look at it. I don't like it. I, I wish it had more other flavors, but it's really just beets. This is the vegetarian go-to. This is the fried portobello burger. It has cheese in the middle. It's like a Juicy Lucy, which only makes sense to you if you know about Minnesota. The Juicy Lucy is a burger that has a bunch of cheese in it. This is a mushroom that has a bunch of cheese in it. Okay, it's not as hot as it was. So I don't know if the cheese normally goops out. The cheese is in there. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's still warm, so the fact that it's that congealed is a little concerning to me. I don't love the flavor profiles. I was excited for it, but it's kind of bland. Hands down, take this over the beet nightmare that we just had. All right, that's it for the vegetarian stuff. Let's get beefy with it. We got some basic burgers here we're gonna try before we amp it up to their extreme burgers. But why don't we start basic with the hamburger? There ain't nothing going on. This is Alex Lewis's dream. Meat's a little dry, a little too boring, but I, I don't know many people who like plain hamburgers, so I don't think this is an often ordered item. You know what? Great idea. Maybe I should amp it up with the flavor that I made. <laughs> How many plugs is too many plugs? <laughs> mm. Wow, that really does help with time. Burgers just need a condiment. You need anything. That helps more than I thought. Wow. Good job, meat. Way to go. The cheeseburger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just that little bit of cheese gives it so much more moisture. What are you talking about? You still have the schmutz. Well, why didn't anyone correct me before now? I tried, and then you started getting upset. It's right, it's there. It's like in the crevice. Uh oh, it's still there. Mm-hmm. I didn't get it. Well, I'm getting pretty full of beef, and I really need more condiments. I don't know why you wouldn't put lettuce and tomato on a burger. You're just foolish. So you, this is a step up from the plane, but why do it? If you want to be happy, you gotta have something that looks like this. The cheeseburger with everything. It looks like a burger in a commercial. Mmm. Wow. I'm on the back of an eagle. We're soaring through time. Yeah. It's so much better with condiments. Just gives you that sticky moistness that you want from a burger, right? That's the phrase everyone thinks of. Woo! I could eat that whole burger even right now and I feel pretty meat fatigued. Fatigued? Fatigued. Now we have three more burgers to try and we're gonna have a guest. But before that, we have a very special guest because Shake Shack sells dog bones. So to try these dog bones with me, our very special dog guest, our first dog on Eat the Menu, Clementine! Clementine, welcome to Eat the Menu. Um, so Shake Shack has dog bones and it's specifically for your dog. They also have a dog sundae. But let's start, let's start Clem. Yeah. Dog biscuits, one for you and one for me. These are huge, whoa, holy guacamole. Take a bite, take a bite, only one bite. We only take one bite. <laughs> okay, I can't, <laughs> okay, I, oh, you can have the whole thing. <laughs> I can't even, man, dog teeth are strong. <laughs> kind of like peanut butter. What do you think? You like it? So that was pretty good. Hey, don't leave yet. Don't get on the table either. <laughs> Let's try this. All right, the doggy Sunday. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> what does it taste like? I like the idea of this because it's just so Los Angeles. It's so like metropolitan to be able to buy your dog a lunch and a dessert. The dog treat's not terrible. I kind of like it better than the beet burger. Well, Clem, thanks for dropping by. You've been incredible, so funny. Keith, Let's... you gotta try the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me try a taste, hold on. Get out of here. Maybe I can get <laughs> under where you were. No, I don't think I can. <laughs> I think I'm not gonna try this one. You know, I ate the dog bone, but I'm not gonna eat that much dog saliva. All right, Clem, let's put this in a doggy bag. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, Clem is, we're getting off the rails here. Okay, Clem, all right, all right, Clem, all right. Okay, all right, okay. We made some choices today, didn't we? More burgers. 
to help me eat the next three burgers, please welcome the other half of, well, other third, uh, uh, another member of my comedy band, Lure Burger, Huey Stonefish! <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a funny entrance. Huey, uh, how has it been going learning the camera and sound? Well, the camera's more fun, but listening to you eat this food with headphones on through your microphone is traumatic. It's really yeah. disgusting. It's incredibly disgusting. If and you I... aren't watching this series with headphones on, what are you doing? <laughs> so we have a little jingle for Shake Shack. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> One, two, three. Uh. Shake Shack, give it a try. Because you can try it. So the reason we're doing this to reiterate, to reiterate, to reiterate, Huey and Alex are learning how to shoot these because we are going on tour this next couple years. We're going to be out on the road doing shows, and I still want to be able to bring Eat the Menu to you. So they've been learning how to shoot it. They'll also still be guests on it. But Eat the Menu on the road will be coming to you next year, and uh, it's going to be amazing. We're going to hit all the regional favorites: Culver's, Raisin Cane's, Boston Market. Huey, you love burgers. I do. We have uh, three more intense burgers, but let's start with. The smoke, smoke shack. shack. You were going in for I was going to bite it. I was so excited. I'm like, just so happy. The smoke, smoke shack. shack. Give it a try. All right, take a little bit. Mmm, beautiful. Oh, I got one of your beard hairs. You caught a hair. <laughs> it's okay. It happens. It happens. Mmm. Hmm. Whoa. I like that sauce. Holy crap. Mm -hmm. Whoa, whoa. Mmm, that's spicy. Mmm. Mmm. Holy shit, that's delicious. Woo! Woo! Woo, spicy! Mmm! Ooh, nicely prickly. They look like serrano peppers or mm. red jalapeno peppers. This is competing against the, the chicken shack for me mm. right now. It's so flavorful. Mm. It's really good. Mmm. This is the kind of weird thing that Burger King would come up with, but they wouldn't execute it this well. This is the Shroom Burger. Give it a try. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Okay. Cool. <sighs> Oh, that's, that's tough for Alex with the headphones on right now. Wow. There's a little wow. bit of, there's a little tiny bit of beef floating in my water. <laughs> How'd that happen? Wow. Oh my word. <laughs> that was very intense. It's hard for me not to salivate. Hey, respect, I bro. I try. I try. I try to respect. do this thing. You notice in this episode, I've been trying to fold the sandwich forward and hope that it breaks the strands of saliva, but it just doesn't. Yeah. I think it's actually pretty good. A little too fatty. The friedness of the mushroom plus the burger plus the cheese. You know, it's just a lot. <laughs> oh. Sorry. <laughs> The double, double burger, burger with, with everything. everything, and I mean everything. Give it a try. It smells like the Chicago dog. This thing is crazy. God's where do you eat? Oh, the peppers are raining. <laughs> this is Meat Mountain. This is where that eagle was flying me. <laughs> mm. Oh wow. Mm. It's a little intense right now. Mm -hmm. I'll give you one more try. With the hot sauce. Oh, excuse me. Well, you know, I love it. Get that hot product shot. Yeah, look at the glob. Okay, glob me, baby. <laughs> it's so big. Better with the hot sauce. Everything's better with the hot sauce. That's true. This one is really delicious. I think the flavors presented are everything you want in a burger. It's just a little too big. It's just a lot. It's a lot. You didn't know what he was reaching for for a second, did you? <laughs> what kind of YouTube video yeah. is this? No queer baiting in my shows. Well, thanks, Huey. We'll be seeing more of you on the road at all of the Eat the Menus on the road. Be sure to look out for that and follow Huey at Huey Stonefish, especially if you have any complaints on his filming in this episode. Bye, you. Okay, now there's a lot of desserts left, which is why I had the shakes halfway through the video because there's still there's still so much ice cream. The purple cow float. What is purple cow? Oh, Jesus. It tastes like Big League Chew, the bubble gum. Huey, get over here, take a sip. Oh my God. Right? <laughs> it tastes like Big League Chew or like purple bubble tape, that purple gum flavor. The orange creamsicle. Oh yeah, it tastes like an orange creamsicle. Where it all began. The root beer flow. I used to love root beer floats. As I've gotten older, I've realized that root beer is just too sweet. 
and I just don't enjoy it like I used to. And it's sad. You grow older, your taste buds change, your sensitivities change. We can't stay the same forever. The Goofy Concrete! So this is some sort of, I don't know, it kind of looks like Fruity Pebbles on top of a milkshake. Oh, it is actually very good. I don't really get anything that tells me this is Christmas, but I do like it. It's not as intense as that salted caramel from before. It's actually a perfect amount of caramel. This one looks the same, but has blue on top. Coconut Snowball. Coconut Snowball. Hold on, this one's really thick. What is this blue candy on top? It's kind of coconut-y, but not like pina colada coconut-y. It's not coconut-y. <laughs> it, it, it tastes kind of like those coconut, like snowball treats, which were like mostly marshmallow-y, vanilla-y with a little bit of coconut flake. It kind of tastes like that. Wow, they really do make everything taste like other foods that exist. But isn't that what flavors are for? All right, this is the chocolate Christmas, Christmas chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate peppermint. Chocolate peppermint. For the holidays. Chocolate peppermint Christmas drink. Celebrate the birth of your Lord by having chocolate Christmas drink. <laughs> it's like a very chocolatey mint chocolate chip. It's more chocolate chip mint. Like mint is the afterthought flavor of this. It's, it's that intense chocolate milkshake from before. With just a little bit of peppermint and some whipped cream. Not bad, but the chocolate is overpowering. I'm done with it. Okay, these are summer ice cream, summer custard. How can anyone possibly know? I mean, look at them all. They look exactly the same. These two, I guess, have a smoother top. You can't smell things that are cold. Oh, 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 Oh my god, oh my god. Uh, no, it's just too big. <laughs> you got it, you got it, you got it. You got it, you got it, you got it. 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 You got it, you we got some custards and some ice creams. I don't know the difference, so let's just make a guess and say chocolate custard. This is very soft, so I assume it's custard. Good chocolate flavor. It's kind of like the chocolate milkshake where it's very, very chocolatey, but it's more acceptable in an ice cream for something to be really chocolatey than a drink. Because you're thinking like, you're gonna have this much of that rich flavor, that's too much. But just this much, that seems, that seems doable. Vanilla custard. Mmm, I love that texture. So velvety. I'm on board. But why choose one when you can have both together? Everyone loves the chocolate vanilla swirl from when you were in elementary school. And you had those little cups, you had the tiny pull tab. Well, in this moment, you can tell just how more flavorful the chocolate is than vanilla, because I taste no vanilla. My vanilla's biting, but it's losing. Vanilla ice cream. Flavor's good, a little bit mild, you know. Nothing to call your grandma about. But that's it. That is everything on the Shake Shack menu. And now it is time for us to decide the best and the least best. I enjoyed all the things we had today, but I have to say that there were some least bests and some bests. The ultimate least best item was that beet ridden veggie burger. Just too bitter to be enjoyed. Uh, and very unfortunate because I like veggie burgers. I've eaten a lot more veggie burgers since I've been healthier, outside of this series obviously. And I like veggie burgers a lot, but I don't like it when it's basically just beets. Otherwise though, I don't think I had a lot of least bests. As for my bests, I have to always throw out an honorary best to that chicken sandwich. It is so good every time, so delicious, perfectly fried, so moist. Mwah. But I did have a burger today that I think I enjoy better than the normal burger, the Smoke Shack. I thought it was so flavorful. Those peppers, albeit a little too spicy for me, brought so much fun, delicious flavor to the burger. And in general, I've just been trying to experiment and push my own spice boundaries more, enjoy the flavors of different peppers because I am a hot sauce maker now. So I need to know what the shit I'm talking about. I like the Chicago dog pretty well. The vanilla milkshake was really good. Some of the milkshakes, no bueno, but most of them, 
Yes. Uh, I had a great time on this Eat The Menu, and I'm very excited to be taking this series on the road. Please let me know what regional fast food place you think is the best. Leave it in the comments. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Keith Habersberger. This has been Eat The Menu. Whoa, the shake has been shacked. The shack has been shaked. We'll see you next time. tried an effect with the lens there. Well, everybody, let Alex know how he did it. I, the number eight, the letter A, the word thumbtack.